Welcome. In this lesson, we're going to go over the settings in ChatGPT, specifically how to change your plan, how to change the voice, how to connect external drives like OneDrive or Google Drive, and then some extra security for logging in. Let's begin. You can find your settings in the upper right hand corner when you click on the little logo or little icon right there. And the first one says my plan. This is where you could go to cancel your ChatGPT Plus membership by clicking right here, manage my subscription, and then it'll take you to the next screen where you could cancel your Plus plan if needed. I'm going to hit the X right here to go back. And then next one down is going to be settings. In the settings, let's go over some of the options that you have. You have the ability to change the layout from light to dark. Some, some people like dark mode, especially when you're working at night. The next option, always show code when using data analysts. If you toggle this on, I'm going to close this for a demo, and you upload, say, a data file, for example. So I'm going to click here, upload file, upload a CSV file, and say, analyze this file. It uses code on the back end. And so sometimes this is when it's showing code, but sometimes people don't want to see this, for example. So to toggle this off in your settings, go to settings, and then go always show code when using data analyst. That's when you could turn this on or off. And then if I go back, upload the same file, click upload, and I say analyze this file, then it will hide the code interpreter behind the scenes. If you still want to see the code, you could click on the down arrow right here, and you can see the Python code that it used to accomplish this task, for example, such as reading a file. So back to the settings. Next down right here, archive chats. This is if you have any chats that are archived. To find those, for example, if I click back here, let's say this chat right here, I want to archive it. I could do click the three little dots, click archive, it hides it from my history, but then I could find it in my settings. And right here under general, archive chats, click manage. And here you can see any archive chats like the one I just did. And you have the option to either unarchive it to put it back, or B, you can click the trash can and delete the conversation. I'm going to click unarchive and it puts it back in my chat history. Going back to our menu, you can archive all chats if you want, or even delete all chats in your chat history, for example. Keeps it nice and clean. We're going to skip personalization and come back to this in a more detailed lesson. Let's move on to speech. Here you could change the voice when you want ChatGPT to read a text. For example, Hey there, I've got a really great... Or where this shows, if I close this, go to a chat, and let's say I want ChatGPT to read this text, for example, Right here, read aloud is that voice that's going to it's going to use in the settings. The data set appears to have the following columns. One, order date. So you could change that voice in the settings. Here under speech. There's many different set many different voices that you could select. We're going to skip data control and have a specific lesson that just talks about that. Going on to builder profile, this is if you want to add additional details about yourself to ChatGPT, but this is optional. Next, you could link a online drive such as Google Drive or OneDrive by clicking here and then logging in. And now you have access to, for example, when I click this X, let's say that you had a file that was saved in your Google Drive that you wanted to reference. You could click the paperclip icon and then you could click on the Google Drive to find that folder, for example. Here under security, if you want an extra challenge when logging in to prove that it's you, you can enable multi-factor authentication. And then if you change devices or if you have ChatGPT logged in across your tablet or your phone outside of your desktop, you could click here log out of all and it will log out of all the devices should you need to in the future. That concludes the settings portion. Let's do some practice. For example, log into your ChatGPT account, go to settings and go ahead and change the theme color from light to dark and switch it back and forth. Then go ahead and archive a chat and then go back to the settings to put it back. The last two are optional. You can go ahead and connect a Google app or a OneDrive account so that you can access files directly from the ChatGPT chat. And optionally, you could go ahead and enable multi-factor authentication for extra security. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next lesson.